my work is just no uh there's <laughs> no secret here you already know what it is however we have been taught many lies many 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 lies a great deal of lies but we're gonna rectify some things on this live today because there's only only one savior yeah there's only one savior you're gonna see tonight even with this snippet here so let's begin <laughs> Y'all can hear me, right? We good before I begin? Make sure we good, because last time what, there was no sound. So I want to make sure we good, we good. All praises to the Most High family. you very welcome. You're very welcome. I get excited to do this, do this thing here. This is a pleasure. Okay, we great. All praises to the Most High. So... You already know we have been taught, okay, many lies. We've been deceived on many things. Where's this picture at? We've been taught that this guy right here, okay, is the savior. Jeepers Creepers, okay. We've been taught he's the savior. But upon further study, <laughs> he's not. So let's begin here. Let's begin. Isaiah 33 and verse 6. I got you, family. I got you on that. I'm still uh, checking it out. I'm still watching that, by the way. Thank you for that support, family. Pre please do support the channel if you can. The Cash App or uh, PayPal. However, y'all know this is my livelihood, so I appreciate uh, all the support. But let's get it. Okay, Isaiah 33, verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of your times. Okay, get that knowledge, get the wisdom and knowledge. Okay, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of your times. And, and I stress, and strength of salvation everybody want to be saved oh want to be saved salvation is in jeepers wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of your times and strength of salvation i wonder why would wisdom and knowledge be the strength of your salvation hmm that's just like anything else in the world you need to have wisdom and knowledge on what you're doing. In order to cross the street, you have to know, well, you got to look both ways, right? That's how you teach your child, right? Hey, hey, Timmy, look both ways now when you cross the street, okay? Because if you don't, you might just get killed, okay? So even with that small example, that's knowledge, wisdom that you're giving, Okay, just something small and simple as that. That is your salvation because now that you have the knowledge on knowing how to cross the street, look at the lights, right? See when is it safe to cross? You can live, you can survive, okay? Like anything else. You go to school, you get your knowledge or your supposed knowledge on whatever degree you got or whatever job you're trying to achieve. And that's how you're able to fulfill whatever task it is, right? Because you've learned this knowledge for whatever direction and path that you actually want to go to. So that right there is just a prime example of why wisdom and knowledge is so important and not just believing in a man, okay? Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of your times and the strength of your salvation. So it's something that we have to learn. Okay, have to learn. So, the fear of the Most High is his treasure. So, wisdom and knowledge is the strength of salvation. Okay, get them books, get that knowledge, let's learn. But, Psalms 106, 21. They forgot the Most High, their Savior. Ah, we forgot. So, who was the Savior? It was the most high, but they forgot. We forgot. 
We don't know who our Savior is anymore. Okay, which had done great things in Egypt. So it was the Most High God who was our Savior. Now we believe this Jeepers is our Savior today. See, we forgot. We forgot. Huh? Yeah, we forgot. But it's okay. It's all right. We're going to learn. So now who's our Savior? Who is telling us that this is our Savior today? Christianity, New Testament. Luke chapter 2, verse 11. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Jeepers Creepers. So now the Savior is Jeepers now. Everyone believes and thinks that this guy is the Savior. Okay, the one they make idols and statues over. Okay, yeah, he's the savior now. But that is far, far, far from the truth. Let's go here. Psalms 146 verse 3. Put not your trust in princes, nor in the son of man. That's whom they call jeepers too, right? In the son of man in whom there is no help. Because this section in uh, this, the official video deals with uh, there's no salvation in man. There's no salvation in man, okay? There's no salvation in man. But as we see right here, okay? Right in Psalm, right? Put not your trust in princes, nor in the son of man, in whom there is no help. There's no help in the son of man. But all we've been taught is about this son of man this, this son of man that. But this right here is killing it. Okay, there's no help in this guy. Let's confirm. Psalms 108, 12 and 13, right? All of them, they go to church and they read Psalms. Oh, just give me Psalms 91. Just read Psalms 91. No, read the entire book of Psalms. You'll learn a great deal. Give us help from trouble. For vain is the help of man. Oh, but we need Jeepers. We need Yeshua's side. Yeshua's side. We need him. Vain is the help of man. But through the Most High, we shall do valiantly. Huh? Through the Most High, really? Is that brought out here? Where is it at? They forgot the Most High, their Savior. We forgot. But we shall do valiantly. Through the Most High. For he it is that shall tread down our enemies. It's going to be him. Not Jeepers. Okay, it's going to be him. Okay, King David, they understood They understood this. Okay, they understood this. But let's go here to, you know, we, we love to use Deuteronomy chapter 28. And we'd be like, yeah, that's, you know, that's us. We in these curses right now. We dealing with all these things. Deuteronomy chapter 28. That is the chapter that shows you who we are. But this is what we always tend to skip right here. Okay. Deuteronomy 28, 29. And thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind gropeth in darkness. We blind out here. We have been deceived. We have been hypnotized by our enemies. We've been fooled. We've been tricked. And we believe in everything these people tell us. That's why we grope at noonday as the blind gropeth in darkness. Okay? Because they that lead you cause you to error. Okay? And thou shalt not prosper in your ways. Why don't we prosper? Because we're in the hands of our enemies. Okay? Who create all these restrictions and laws against us. And have been keeping us marginalized. Okay? And thou shalt not prosper. And also on the top of the fact that they've taught us to hate each other. So now we hate each other from every angle. We can't seem to come together because we're always in a negative, evil, emotional state. Okay, that's why we shall not prosper in your ways until we truly understand this truth. And thou shalt be only oppressed. Are we being oppressed? We're being killed right now. Okay, killed right now. And they plotting on you right now on the next move. On how to get us right now. And spoiled evermore. They come in our neighborhoods, the poor black communities, and rob you and rob you. Set up their shops, take all your money, 
and then go take care of their family. But we have a problem with supporting our own. We don't want to support our own, but yet our enemies can come in here in our areas, suck us dry, and then go feed their children. And then we support them, but we won't support our, our own, which is a very sad thing. And that's why we're only oppressed and spoiled evermore. Now, here's the big fun fact right here. And no man shall save you. But somehow, somehow, some way, we believe in this supposed man. Okay, supposed man. Let me get this image back up. Where is this image at of this character? We believe in this supposed man who saved us. Right? We believe in this supposed man that supposedly saved us. Right? But Deuteronomy is telling us, after he said all of that, no man shall save you. And we actually dealing with this curse right now. All these things are actually happening right now. Right now, today. So even looking at the tail end of this verse here, no man shall save you. But who are we waiting for? We're waiting for Jeepers. The one they call Yeshua Sai. Your shower shy. Okay, that's who we're waiting for. But had we been listening close to the curses that we're in, it says, No man shall save you. Jeepers was a supposed man, right? They said he died for us and did all of that. But it's right here and it's very clear. But let's confirm. Isaiah 59, 16. And he saw that there was no man. Wait a minute. No man shall save you. And he saw that there was no man. And wondered that there was no intercessor. Therefore, his arm brought salvation. Wait a minute. I thought Jeepers Creepers was bringing salvation. I thought we was waiting for this guy, Jeepers. What happened? There's no man. There's no intercessor. His arm brought the salvation unto him. And his righteousness, it sustained him. So we confirm what the Most High said in the law to us. To the knuckleheads that don't listen and don't like to read or pay close attention. No man shall save you. And here it is. There was no man. No man and no intercessor. His arm brought the salvation. But let's keep cooking. Ecclesiastes 51 verse 7. They compassed me on every side. That's our enemies. And there was no man to help me. I looked for the succor of men, but there was none. No man, no jeepers is going to come save you, as is said in the law. No man shall save you. Okay? But we all trusting and believing in this supposed man, right? The idol, because that's what he really is. Okay, the idol. Huh. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. No man, no man. I look for the succor of men, but there was none. So where does our succor come from? 1 Maccabees chapter 12, verse 15. For we have help from heaven that succoreth us. That's our help. So as we are delivered from our enemies and our enemies are brought under foot. Exactly. Our help comes from heaven, from the most high God. Okay. Let's keep it pushing. Back to... Ecclesiastes 51, verse 8. Then thought I upon your mercy, O Most High, and upon 
your acts of old. Wait a minute. The acts of old? Thinking about the acts of old, but wait a minute. They want the New Testament. They want the New Testament. But here he is thinking about the acts of old. How thou deliverest such as wait for you. Oh no, we waiting for Jeepers. Everybody waiting for Jeepers, right? Everybody want this JC character, right? Your shoe aside. Your shower shy. That's who they want. We supposed to be waiting for the most high. Okay? The one that has the acts of old. And saveth them out of the hands of the enemies. Yeah. Because we, we got a lot of enemies right now. Oh, we got a lot of enemies right now. Okay? And just so you know, I have a short uh, special documentary series on this Buffalo uh, mass shooting. I'm going to drop that probably by Monday. Probably by Monday night, I'll have that ready. Crazy, crazy video. Okay, the Buffalo mass shooting when Hollywood, when Hollywood tells the truth. Okay, y'all already know how I do. I was going to do the black scapegoat, but this one is needed right now. So I'll probably uh, have the black skate go ready for y'all at the beginning of the next month. But this one has to go. So definitely look out for that by Monday. Okay. Yeah. This is crazy. So yeah, we got we have enemies. We have enemies. Okay. Let's go here. See what the Mosai has to say. Back to Deuteronomy 32. Excuse me. Deuteronomy 32, 36. For the Most High shall judge his people and repent himself for his servants. When he seeth, let's pay close attention to this now. When he seeth that their power is gone and there is none shut up or left. So we see the Most High, he's going to judge his people and he's going to repent himself for his servants. This is when the Most High returns. When he seeth that their power is gone. So the Most High is going to do that when he sees our power is gone because our power is gone. We have no power at this point. It's, it's very clear. It's very clear. When he sees our power is gone. Now this is how you know that, uh, let me just bring this image back up. This guy is a devil. Because you heard what the Most High said, when he sees that our power is gone. But if you're still believing in the New Testament... And in the words of Jeepers Creepers or your suicide or your shower shy, whatever you want to call him, okay, you're surely, surely mistaken. Okay? You see that? When when he see if that their power is gone, because Jeepers said, Luke chapter 10, 19, behold, I give unto you power. Jeepers, your Yeshua side, is telling you, I give unto you power to tread upon. To tread on serpents and scorpions. So he gave you power to do that. What else? And over all the power of the enemy. What, what enemy is that? What enemy is that? Zebra said he gave you power and over all the power of the enemy. Well, what enemy is that? You got to start questioning now. Well, what was he really talking about? Right? And nothing shall by any means hurt you. Oh, we being hurt. Oh, we being hurt, man. We being killed, slaughtered, and everything out here. Hit that like button. Hit that like button. Support the channel if you can. Okay, we being hurt out here. But Jeepers said he gave us power. Okay, to tread upon serpents and scorpions. And over all the power of the enemy. Now... This is how you know he's a devil, he's a liar, and a deceiver. Because remember, the Most High said, when he sees that their power is gone. But if you believe in Jeepers, which is something new, we believe, or supposed to believe, based on his words, that we have power over serpents and scorpions, okay, and over all the power of the enemy. Okay, so we're supposed to be believing that. We're supposed to have this power. But the Mosai said when he see that their power is gone. 
So do we have power or not? Okay? Do we have power or not? But let's shred this right now by his own words. Okay? Because is he talking about the, the devil? Power over the devil? Or power over your physical enemies? Now we know he can't be talking about the devil because he said here, Matthew 5.39, But I say unto you that you resist not evil. Don't resist evil. So you can't be talking about the devil. If he's telling you, I give you power over all the power of the enemy. Okay? Because he said, do not resist evil. Resist not evil. But whosoever shall smite you or hit you on your right cheek, turn to him the other. And he definitely can't be talking about your physical enemies. The ones that's killing you, shooting you up, targeting you. Can't be talking about that. Because he's telling you here... If somebody hits you, just turn to him the right cheek. So imagine if somebody was to shoot you. Right? Also, if you jump down to verse 44, it says, But I say unto you, love your enemies. Love these people that are killing you, targeting you, that hate you severely. Love them. These are the words of an enemy. These are the words of a damn devil. Yeah, exactly. These are the words of a devil to tell you something like that. To even believe in some nonsense, in some nonsense like that. Bless them that curse you. That curse you, really? Do good to them that hate you. Oh, these people hate you, they curse you, and all of that. Okay? And pray for them which despitefully use you. They come into your neighborhoods, take all your money, act like they're your friends, and they go back and feed their families while we hate our own kind. They despitefully use you and persecute you. Yeah. Your jeepers is telling you to love them. Okay? Is the, is the lie freezing up, family? Are we good? Because you know when I start making these heavy connections, you know, the, 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 the powers that be get real, get real scary. Okay? But as you see here, Jeepers is telling you to love your enemies. Bless them. Do good to them. Pray for them. Okay? But meanwhile, they out here killing you, targeting you. So, of course, this guy is a lie. Jeepers is a lie. That's why the Most High said, when he seeth, when he seeth that their power is gone, our power is gone. We have no power. We have no power. So he was a lie. This is a lie. It's all a lie. There's no salvation in man. This is why there's no salvation in man. Because even this darn book dealing with this stupid character is a damn lie. But the Most High will come when he sees that their power is gone. So all this false hope. False belief. I'm going to give you power. That's no different than uh, the president or or politicians telling you to believe in them. We're going to do this for y'all. We're going to do that for y'all. Giving you false hope. That's what this is. False power. Oh, go vote for the next president and things are going to change. Nope. 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 Okay, but let's go here. Back to Deuteronomy 32, picking up at uh, verse 37. Okay, so we see, let's just bring it, make the connection now. He going to judge his people, repent himself of his servants, when he see that their power is gone and that there is none shut up. And he shall say, where are their gods? Where's your gods now, family? Where's your gods? 
Where are their gods? Their power is gone. So where are their gods? Where are the ones that you worshipped? You believed in. Where are their gods? The rock in whom they trusted. Huh? That's what the Most High going to say. Where's your gods now? You've been worshipping this damn thing. You've been believing in this damn thing. Where are their gods? Right? Yeah, uh-huh. Their rock in whom they trusted. Oh, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4. And did all drink the same spiritual drink, for they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock was Christ. Oh, well, where are their gods and their rock in whom they trusted? Isn't Christ a rock? It's the rock. <laughs> Isn't Christ your rock? And that rock was Christ. Huh? What? Where are their gods? Right. Where are their gods? Their rock in whom they trusted. You see that? You see that? Yeah. Crazy, huh? Crazy. Where, where, where is it at? Where is the Jeepers at? Where is the Jeepers at now? Huh? Where is he? Where is your Yeshua side now? Where is your Yeshua shy now? Huh? Where are their gods in whom they trusted? Yeah, it makes sense now why the Father would be saying that. Right? Their power is gone. Where are their gods? In the rock whom they trusted. Where where they at? Yeah, we love idols. Let's get back. Picking up. 38. Which did eat the fat of their sacrifices. And drank the wine of their drink offerings. Drink offerings, huh? Yeah. Let them rise up and help you. Uh-huh. Let them rise up and help you. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You see that? Where are your gods in a rock whom you trusted, which did eat the fat of their sacrifices and drink the wine of their offerings? Didn't JC said, this is my body? This is the bread of my body? And drink my blood? Right? Didn't he say that on the Most High's Passover? He was saying that. And now that's what these fools and idol worshippers do today in their communion. Yeah. Uh-huh. Which did eat the fat of their sacrifices and drank the wine of their drink offerings. Huh? Yeah. Let them rise up and help you and be your protection. Yeah. Let them help you now. Okay, because these people want to kill you. They got plans to kill you, and he ain't the only one. Your government been killing you for years. America's been built off of killing you, poisoning you, spoiling you, oppressing you. Let them rise up and help you and be your protection. You see that? The Most High is gully. The Most High is a G. That's how you know this ain't... When people say, oh, this is a, a, a white man book or whatever. No, that New Testament is. But you see the way the Most High talking right here. You you know that is that got to be the truth. We in this situation. And look what it is now. He's talking gully. Let them rise up and help you. That's what y'all wanted, right? That's, that's what y'all wanted. That's what y'all calling on. Well, let them rise up and help you. And be your protection now. Where is the Yeshua side now? Where is Jeepers Creepers now? You need him now, huh? Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Mosai makes sense. Mosai talking now. Now we can probably listen now. Now maybe the Mosai's voice could probably uh make some sense to us right now. Okay, last script. Jump down to 43. Oh, rejoice, O ye nations. That's all the nations. 
with his people because we've been given into the hands of these nations. For he, him, because no man, let's go back to it, let's go back to it, uh, where is it at? No man shall save you, okay? Said that in chapter uh, 28. No man shall save you. But now as he's saying here in chapter 32, okay, chapter 32, I'm sorry, verse 43. For he will avenge the blood of his servants and will render vengeance to his adversaries and will be merciful unto his land and to his people. So, there it is. No man shall save you. No man is going to save us, family. No man is going to save us out of what these devils got planned. Okay? No man. So that's the snippet right there. Okay? That's the snippet right there. I think it's a little blurry. Um, official video is... In the link below, join the online school. Okay, this is a crazy, crazy lesson. One savior. Also, uh, this I have a small uh, docu uh, video on this Buffalo shooting. This is why I didn't want to go live because there's so many uh, connections that I have for this situation, which is crazy. I was like, man, I have to do this right now because the connections I have for this shooting situation is bananas okay the buffalo mass shooting when hollywood tells the truth hit that like button hit that like button support the channel if you can okay official video is up hit the link join the online school or the vip Absolutely. That's how you know he's 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 false because he's a man of flesh. It makes sense. The most I said, "Cursed be the man that trusteth in man." Okay, but well, have we been studying harder? Harder, we would see these things. But uh, this little video I have, special video I have on this guy here on this mass shooting thing, is gonna be crazy. That'll be ready by Monday, and then by that following Friday or well, weekend. I'll have the the last movie breakdown, which is Django, which I chose, which surprisingly beat out Sonic 2. So, I'm going to have that ready for y'all. Okay, so there it is, family. No man shall save you. It's only going to be one savior. One savior. This situation is crazy, but it's all good. When you see your enemies dead like this... You have had the privilege... Of being saved by the great Titan. You may think this is suffering. No. A salvation. It is salvation. No one man to have all that power. 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 Only the most high man gonna get us up out of here.